Contemporary electric power systems consist of various types of power plants and energy storage systems that manage electricity. This electricity is then distributed via an electrical grid which could be a transmission grid, distribution grid, mini grid, or microgrid to fulfill the power requirements of end users. Grid operators are tasked with delivering electricity to these end users at the exact moment it's needed, without any interruptions, in a manner that's efficient, cost-effective, and reliable. Ancillary services, though defined differently across various contexts, are generally seen as the services and functions essential for maintaining the secure and reliable operation of the electric power system. These services have diverse technical prerequisites and are governed by different regulatory frameworks worldwide, largely shaped by the unique deregulation processes that have occurred in various countries. Ancillary services play a crucial role in grid operations and were traditionally offered by integrated electric utilities as a part of their regular operations. In the past, these services didn't need to be explicitly defined and monetized. However, the deregulation of electric power systems has led to changes in many aspects of ancillary services, such as their definition, procurement, activation, and remuneration. Ancillary services can also be described as the services necessary to facilitate the transfer of electric power from the seller to the buyer. These include services required to maintain the reliable operation of the interconnected electrical grid, ensure the stable operation of the electric power system or restore system security, guarantee power supply, and meet real-time technical requirements, including voltage and frequency limits. There's a growing interest in the provision of ancillary services by new players in the grid business, such as owners of distributed generation, energy storage systems, and smart loads, either individually or as part of virtual power plants VPPs. The primary focus is on participating in various markets based on active power, with a particular emphasis on energy markets. The creation of VPPs, through the use of aggregators, for instance, is a practical approach to leveraging the capabilities of small generators and consumers. Challenges of modern electric power systems Contemporary electric power systems encounter numerous challenges concerning the reliability, security, and quality of the electric power supply. Ancillary services are necessary to address these challenges and enhance the operation of the electric power system. Key technical challenges are associated with system stability, including frequency, voltage, and rotor angle stability. The stability of an electric power system refers to the system's capability, given an initial operating condition, to restore a state of operating equilibrium after experiencing a physical disturbance, with most system variables constrained such that the system remains largely intact. System disturbances can take various forms, such as sudden load changes, abrupt short circuits between line and ground, line-to-line -line faults, all three-line faults, switching, and so on. Types of Ancillary Services Ancillary services can be categorized into three main groups. Services related to frequency support, voltage support, and, and system restoration support. Frequency support services are needed for the short-term balance of energy and frequency in the electric power system. These include frequency regulation and operational reserves, typically provided by generators, flexible loads, and energy storage systems. Voltage support services are necessary to maintain the voltage of the electric power system within prescribed limits during normal operation and disturbances. This is achieved by balancing the generation and consumption of reactive power. The primary objectives of these services are voltage profile management and voltage stability maintenance. System restoration support services are required to restore the electric power system to normal operation following a blackout. These include black start and islanding operation. There are also other ancillary services closely related to system operability and stability, such as power oscillation damping, subsynchronous resonance damping, congestion management, and grid loss compensation. These services contribute to maintaining the system's reliability and safe operation within predefined limits. Ancillary Services Technical Requirements The technical prerequisites for ancillary services are shaped by the system operators need to uphold the reliability, security, and quality of the electric power supply. System operators manage the electric power system by securing contribution contributions ancillary services from service providers as needed, executing the technical administration of the system, ensuring an appropriate level of security, 
contributing their own parts such as implementing controls, load dispatching functions, etc., and thus formulating the final system services. The control of frequency and voltage has always been a primary technical requirement for ancillary services and a crucial task in the operation of an electric power system. With the liberalization of the electricity sector in many countries, system operators have been able to procure these support services from other market participants. As the liberalization process has evolved independently in different regions and each electric power system has its unique characteristics, the technical definitions for ancillary services can vary significantly. The definition of ancillary services depends on the specific electric power system and the regulatory framework in which they are implemented. In organized markets, system operators typically establish their own standards for ancillary services, product definitions, and market price formation. In less organized markets, ancillary services may not be well defined and properly valued, making it challenging for investors to justify the high investment costs of equipment capable of providing the necessary ancillary services. Ancillary Services Markets A significant aspect of a system operator's role is to ensure the stability of the electric power system and to continuously balance supply and demand, making adjustments as demand fluctuates. This is accomplished by utilizing various ancillary services as needed, which are supplied by large-scale generation units either conventional or renewable, energy storage systems, certain grid-connected dev devices like mechanically switched or power electronics switched compensation devices, and providers of distributed energy resources DERS including demand response, small-scale energy storage systems, and distributed variable renewable energy VRE generation. Ancillary services, while necessary, are typically not available at all times and are only called upon when required. Some services are used during normal operation continuous, while others are provided for abnormal or emergency situations event-driven. Many ancillary services operate automatically, necessitating decision-making across a wide range of timescales. The day-ahead market is used to enable system operators to procure sufficient ancillary services to meet the anticipated demand 24 hours in advance. The real-time market facilitates the procurement of ancillary services seconds, minutes, or an hour ahead. The potential market costs for ancillary services can be divided into three categories. Costs for ability capability investment costs. Readiness costs costs for reserved capacity. Utilization costs actual provision of the services. There may also be additional costs associated with providing an ancillary service, related to compliance and quality testing of the service. Procurement of ancillary services. The operational oversight of the electric power system falls under the purview of the respective system operators. Various transmission system operators TSOs and distribution system operators DSOs have instituted a range of processes and products for delivering ancillary services. These products can be sourced from the system operator's operational resources or from diverse market participants such as generators, energy storage systems, loads, demand aggregators, and so on. The procurement plans of TSOs and DSOs outline the mechanisms for procuring ancillary services, as well as the technical requirements and key contractual terms applicable to each service. Before entering into contracts, new providers are required to demonstrate their equipment's capability to provide the ancillary service through testing. Some services also necessitate regular testing during the contract term. Ancillary services are typically procured in three distinct ways. Through a mandatory response, which is required as a condition of being connected to the electric power system. This may or may not be compensated at a fixed price or at opportunity cost. Through a long-term bilateral agreement between the TSO or DSO and the service provider for a specific service at a specific location. Through a market-based procurement mechanism based on invited bids. This can involve regular auctions typically for one or six months ahead, or auctions for real-time dispatch.